winning two out of three against Washington. There goes Cedeno, and it's grounded to third. And this should be a double play to win the inning, and it is. Brady, Iguchi, Canarco, and Garcia off the hook. We'll be here in Chicago. Both runners go this time on the ground, knocked down, getting to the back, and then throwing to first. It's in time to turn the double play. Very nicely done on both ends by Ramirez to stay with it. And a pick by Mabry on the other corner. You can foul it back, but it's a good one to look for. Got a fastball and lifts a fly ball in the short left field. Pierzynski wanting to know, am I going? He is going. Here comes a throw by Merton. It is a collision at the plate. And Pierzynski not only bangs into Barrett, bangs onto the plate. And here they go. Posebnik getting into it with Barrett. And now both dugouts empty behind home plate. I mean, there is some hooking going on in the bottom of two piles. Trying to separate players on both sides. Pierzynski ran right through Barrett and then slammed his hand on home plate and Barrett came after him Posednik wound up more involved with Barrett than Pierzynski did well that's the kind of unit the White Sox have been you go after one of them you're going after all of them and A.J. Pierzynski was going around Barrett trying to get to his helmet after the collision and Barrett took exception to the actions of Pierzynski and gave him a right cross as he was holding him and from there A.J. Head back up. Scott Pasednik was right there behind him and came in and picked him up. This is the kind of thing that can help each team. The White Sox are already a unit that have proven they're there for each other, and the Cubs, this could really cement them together. You never know how a brawl like that pulls a unit together. They saw Pasednik igniting the crowd by waving his hands before going back into the dugout. Of course, he has always been a very controversial figure his entire career going back to the Minnesota Twins. 2-2 Two -two pitch. High fly ball into left field, hit pretty well. Merton back at the wall. Goodbye. South side of Chicago. World Series victory. Bouncing ball to the right side. Boy, Freddie Garcia just picking him up and laying him down. Ten in a row set down by the White Sox right in. Well, I think it truly should start up top with the general manager and go from there. Strike three called on the inside corner to Jack Jones. Should be an organization, a team that wins 15 with each of its starters. The strike three called on the outside corner, a breaking ball, and Burton didn't like the call. There goes Pasednik, and there's a fly ball in the left center field. Going back, Pierre at the wall, and Gucci is homering it. his eighth third hit game of this season and five nothing down round ball double play here there's one and the double play will snuff the round like that it's when it counts in the eighth and ninth that he's delivered Line to the short center field. Pierre, a diving attempt, and he got it. Nice play by Juan Pierre. We'll take away a hit by Joe Creedy. You know, and the Cubs need every single effort defensively like that. You, you run the bases hard. You play the game hard. Double play ball here off the bat of Blanco. Third big one today behind Garcia. She is on the south side of Chicago. Ground ball to short should in the inning. Backing up. Uribe throws in time. Burley yesterday, Garcia today, Jose Contreras off the DL tomorrow. 
when he came up with the Cincinnati Reds. That one shot in the right center field and nice. The running catch by Pierre out near the warning track. That ball hit very hard by Canerco, but it's allowed out. And said, young man, I can't tell you how much I've enjoyed watching you play the game as Pierre is gone. Strike three on a check swing. Two away in the innings. 20 games. To the shortstop, Uribe throws off balance, picked out of there by Canerco, and that'll end the inning. Garcia, eight strong innings again. 1-1 one, one to Blanco. Ground ball down to third. Creedy gobbles it up the short way, and that's out. Garcia and Thornton combine on a nine-hit shutout, and the White Sox in back-to-back -back games have beaten up on their crosstown rivals.